I set it up because all the snow was falling, like from the trees. Now it's not falling anymore. Shot. That's the money shot right there. <laughs> the falling snow. Me. No. How's it going today, everybody? Welcome to another random vlog. Random Andrew here. Random brother over there. We're out to do some bushcraft today. Seeing you guys really seem to be liking these bushcraft videos, get more views and more likes. So I think we're gonna start putting a lot more focus into that. You know, it does work like feedback. So how many views and likes a video gets and lets me know what you guys are kind of wanting to see when you have time to sit down and watch videos. We had a failure, guess what? Yeah, oh, hang on a second. So, you've seen this wall last time, it was vertical, and now look at it. Not very vertical right One of our upright supports, you can see right here, just it let go. So I'm gonna have to untie that, we're gonna pull all this lumber out, and then we're just gonna put a new support beam in, maybe a little thicker. That one there, you could look at this right here, I could see a slight bow in it. But it's because we had to retighten it, we pushed the tops in and it puts stress in the middle of the log. All right, all right so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna skip forward all of that. Hang on a second. Okay. We'll use some YouTube magic. You guys ready? Just like that. It's actually a lot more work than you guys will ever know. But okay. we fixed it. Isn't what it we pretty? actually did was replace this whole piece right here. Obviously, you've seen the other one is broken. Dug a new hole, pounded in some new supports. Probably should tie this one down low too. Sure. Like we ended up having to do down here. This end come out when we got half it done. I had to lift four logs at once so we could push one log back in. And then we decided this needed to be tied rather than just like that. So we are no further along than the last time we were out here, but. Check out the inside of this, it looks pretty cool. But we're coming along. Yeah. Okay, so we can stop marveling over one wall. And we're gonna, we're actually, we were discussing about squaring this up. Oh yeah, look, insulating. That's gonna be a pain in the butt. Hi. When it comes time to insulate all that. Okay, so we were talking about maybe squaring it off, right? Instead of having it triangular, like here, have another wall that way rather than angled off this way. So, so from where to where? Probably that little tree. This one? No. That one. This one? Yeah. Okay. So from there to here, and then from there to there, uh, there, or there? Here to here. Okay. And that'll make it a squared off hut. Yeah, look at the size of that. That's huge. Yeah. All right. Well, I got thinking about it, and if you have a, a bench made here, or picture an air mattress yeah. along there, and another one along here, it's it's not quite big enough. Yeah, and then the, now there's all this space. So it's either we finish building this triangular and build a whole nother hut back there, or we just do this one the right way. Do this one the right way. Okay. Right the first time. So we gotta get rid of all this roof stuff, that support. Yep, yeah. we can do it. Okay, X amount of time has passed. Let me know what you guys think of this. Okay, we squared it off. I know it's a bit of a slant, but if I tilt the camera like this, you'd never know. It looks pretty darn square <laughs> to me. Yeah, but it, <laughs> it looks like it's sunk on this side. It hasn't. That's just, we wanted an angle on the roof so that when the water melts from the heat inside, it runs off one side. And that's a dang good excuse and I'm sticking to it. We don't tell them they won't know. <laughs> okay, okay, so here's where we're squaring off to this side. Open front, possibly. We may put a couple of posts going up, but we're not even that close yet. Oh, that's what's throwing it off. It's this guy up here. Should be down here. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gotta have that. So, we've already started gathering a little bit of extra lumber. Well, some of this was already here. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You can see the snow, but the extra lumber, like over here, behind Craig, we have a spot down the trail this way and down the hill that way. We've seen a big stockpile. We're gonna go pick that up. You guys have 
You guys have seen us carry lumber before. It's nothing exciting. So why don't we just magically go poof, here's a pile of lumber and then we'll be done. And now the wind is starting to pick up just a little bit, not a whole lot. But let's kind of give you a layout idea from this perspective again. I can't back up any further or I'll be, I'll be on my butt. So this wall, let me get my point axe. This wall is already pre-existing. Now is where we have to think about how we want to do this so we don't have to trim and fit. Because if we do this wall and leave overhang this way, then this whole back wall would have to be trim and precisely fit. So, hang on. We're going to do this back wall and leave the excess overhang overhanging that way. And then when we do that wall, we'll kind of have to do the same that way. But I'm not sure this is going to work that way. I'm just thinking out loud at the moment. What were you about to say? Um, if we move this log right here, we're going to be putting a post up here anyways. And it'll, it'll be perfectly right here. I'm not sure what you meant. I'll, I'll demonstrate. Oh, you're just going to stand that up vertical there. Yeah. We'll figure it out. And when we do, we'll get back to you guys. Because <laughs> honestly... Um, yeah, I said, let's just focus on this back wall, and then we'll worry about the other wall when we get to it. Get that shovel out of there. Rudy, close up to the camera. Freshly cut pine smell. Yeah, I know. Gotta love it. Also made of sending smoke signals your way. Also made of. Oh, look at that. Is it gonna fit? Is it yeah, gonna reach? Well, a little further. Yeah, I just kind of scooch. Oh. There. Perfect. Let's see that one fits too. Might as well. Holy cow. I don't, think I don't know if it will. We'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Look at this! Look at this! Crikey! It's a hut! Oh no! Oh no! Just too short. That much too short. Well... Can we... Can we get away with... No! Ugh, hey! Okay. This thing's gnarly. All right, guys, so we had a problem. Not the battery on the camera this time, but the memory card actually filled up. I don't think we did much recording, but it just, it's full. So this is going to be a shorter bushcraft video. I'm going to use Craig's phone. Well, I'm using Craig's phone. Thank you, Craig. 
and I'm going to show you guys what we've got done so far, what we're planning on finishing, and then maybe if I make it out here tomorrow, which is a surprise thing, as I don't know what's going to happen yet, but then you'll see what got done. So here it is without further ado. That looks, I like it. What yeah. So yeah, this is, you guys know we got this wall refinished today. We might try and put a few pieces more in, and we might just lower this here too. Because right, that's still set to the old height standard. We're going with a new height now. Just work with where the walls got up to. And as you can tell, in this video, we did get part of this wall established. We're going to finish it up, most likely. We've got enough materials gathered here today. Yeah, we do. I think we can finish it before it's time to go, which isn't too far off right now. And then we'll have two walls done. And then if we actually wanted to use it, even with just two walls, right? It still leaves you with a nice surround. Yeah, so it's not bad. And by the way, guys, what a beautiful day it is out today. Light covering of snow on the ground. The first, not the first snowfall, but uh, the first snowfall since Christmas. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to get back to doing this. Well, here's what we got accomplished today. And if I just held you guys right here, it's like, whoa, where'd you guys get the log cabin? And it's not Patterson's cabin either. It's it's cabinish. It's cabinish. It's not quite a cabin, but it's definitely coming a long way. Here's where the third wall is gonna be. Yeah, I already closed. I already filmed the closing segment. See, we're losing daylight. The day's closing on us, so we must close the vlog. I'm gonna refilm my closing segment because we did more work than we thought we were gonna, and I wanted to show you guys this anyways. Like, doesn't that look awesome? I'm, uh, see, I might as well just tell them. I was planning on coming out here tomorrow night, being tomorrow's New Year's Eve, and I was gonna do a bushcraft New Year's. But this isn't quite far enough along yet, but I think the first overnight I do out here, I'd like it to be here, but I don't wanna rush it, right? Like. We could wait till there's a bit more snow on the ground, too, and that would make it more interesting for you guys. So next time we're out, we're going to do this wall, we're going to do the roof, but it's probably not going to be tomorrow. And I'm thinking New Year's Eve, we'll be over at Craig's place, might do a New Year's live stream or something if I can set my YouTube on. Oh, no, I'll just be on your Wi-Fi. Yeah, so we'll do a New Year's grown-ups only <laughs> YouTube extravaganza uh, maybe do a live stream. I don't know. You guys will know that by now because I probably won't get this done tonight. <laughs> what do you think? I'm in. I'm in. Live stream New Year's tomorrow? Yep. All right. So, until we come out here again, we shall leave the hut like this. I like it. I really like it. It puts a smile on my face when we come out and accomplish stuff like this. So, yeah, new ending. Thanks for watching, guys. I want you to think positive. I want you to stay positive, and I definitely want you to try to keep a smile on your face because when you're happy, things are better. Just simply because. Have a good day. Have a good night. If I don't see you till 2019, we'll see you next year. Vlog over.